There's a spirit that comes with praying in public. But concerning prayer, I want to tell you something, my brother. Read. The book of Matthew, chapter 6 and verse 5. And when thou prayest, you my brother, you listening? My brother, you listening? You li listen, 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 listen. Come on. Thou shalt not be as the hypocrites are, for they love to pray standing in the synagogue. They love to pray standing in the synagogues. Right? Read. It says the hypocrites. Read. And in the corners of the street. And in the where? And in the corners of the street. So the Bible says there's a spirit, right, of vanity. There's a spirit of uh, falsehood when it comes to try to make a scene in public. What? Right? Making one feel more special than his own people. So I'm going to make, make you understand. Read it again. Start from the top. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Start from the top. And when thou prayest, thou shalt not be as the hypocrites are. For they love to pray standing in the synagogues and in the corners of the streets that they may be seen of men. Right. So we don't want to pray for you to be seen by men. We don't want to. You may not think that about us, but we want, we don't want to seem like we so holier than now. You come to us, you're going to get salvation. Because that's not what it means. Right. You understand? We cannot save you from the judgment to come. Right. We can only teach you about God's laws and hope that you apply them so that you can save yourself. Right. You understand what I'm saying? Right. Read. I you now. I you. Verily I say unto you, they have their reward. Read on. But thou, when thou prayest. So when thou prayest, right, come on. Enter into that closet. We enter into the closet. That means a secret place. A closed place. You understand? A place that's not just open to the whole wide world. Come on. And when thou hast shut thy door. When thou hast shut thy door, come on. Pray to the Father which is in secret. So then we'll pray for you in secret. All right? So when people come by, we putting oil on you. We're praying for you. That's what the hypocrites used to do when you read this Bible. We don't want to be seen as that. All right? We're out here to truly change the minds of the people. So I don't want you to take offense to it that we're not going to pray for you today. But if you do want us to pray for you, we will. You know how? The Bible just told you. You got to enter into where? The secret place. All right? Where's that secret place at? Where's that secret place at? Where's that secret place? He says heaven. Where's that secret place? She says in the closet, all right? On that flyer, all right? At the bottom of the flyer, there's a phone number. You understand? You call the phone number, you hit the extension. We'll tell you what your next steps are, all right? We'll tell you the address to meet us. Then y'all can come meet us at the school. Right. You understand? And then we'll send prayers up for you after we close the doors. Right. You understand? In our secret place. And we'll send those prayers up for you because that's showing us what? That's showing us that you believe. Right. Alright, so you can help us by helping yourself. You understand? Give me Sirach chapter 32 uh, verse 26. Alright, Sirach chapter 32 verse 26. If you truly believe the message that we're teaching, then you're going to make change. All right, that's what I'm trying to show you. A lot of our brothers don't want to change. A lot of our sisters don't want to change. Read what you got. So what? Chapter 32 and verse 24. What? He that believeth in the Lord taketh heed to the commandment. The officer has been teaching very well in the spirit. Do you believe what he has been teaching out of the Bible? You say yes. All right, come on. Read it again from the top. He that believeth in the Lord taketh heed to the commandment. He that believeth in the Lord will do what? Take heed to the commandments. You understand? So, the, uh, this Saturday is the Sabbath. It's the Sabbath day. Did you know that? Yeah. That's when you're supposed to go to, to fellowship. All right? Give me Exodus 7 20 real quick. You can meet us at the school. Do you drive? She drives? You, uh, will you drive him to the school? You will? All right. Very good. Read what you got. Exodus chapter 20 and verse 8. Remember the Sabbath day. God says, remember the Sabbath day. All right. What day is the Sabbath? Saturday. Come on. To keep it holy. To keep the Sabbath day holy. Come on. Six days shall not labor. So this is one of the six days right here. It's permitted for you to work today. It's permitted for you to work on Sunday. It's permitted for you to work on Monday. It's permitted for you to work tomorrow. It's permitted for you to work on Thursday and Friday. What? But on Saturday, it's no working. It's a holy day. What? You understand? Saturday is no working. Saturday, you and your, this your sister right here, yes, your wife, need to make provisions what? to get to the school. All right? 
Call the number on the phone, hit the extension. We're going to tell you the address so you can come to the school to learn the rest of God's commandments. Right. The Sabbath day is where you begin. It's many, many more commandments that come after you start keeping that one. You understand? Read. And do all that work. But the seventh day is the Sabbath of the Lord that God. God ordained that day. You understand? God set that day apart for you, for us to come together into fellowship, to take a break. From, from keeping this kingdom going round and round. You understand? From keeping this kingdom uh, uh, above debt, above water, right? It can't survive if we don't fund it. This kingdom cannot survive if we do not fund it. God says there's one day out of the week you can't fund this kingdom. You can't keep it going. Everybody else needs to do that. Not you, not my chosen ones. Y'all need to be in fellowship, right? So if you come to the school on the Sabbath day, you can get those prayers that you want. All right, we'll anoint you and send the prayers up. We can't do that right now because we don't know you. You understand? We don't know what you're going to do when you leave here. We don't know if we'll ever see you again. We don't know how you're dealing with your wife at home. Right? What if you praying that, you know, your wife, you praying home for your wife. You understand? We can't send those prayers up. But, but you really the one that's doing the things wrong. You understand? We don't know you well enough for that. All right? So God says, give me Sirach chapter 12. If we're going to do these types of things with people, we got to know who they are. We're going to get to know you by fellowshipping. All right, that's the first step. You got to congregate. Read what you got. The book of Sirach, chapter 12 and verse 4. Give to the godly man and help not a sinner. God says give to the godly man. What are we giving to you right now? To the ungodly and to the godly, we're going to provide rebuke. We're going to provide correction. You understand? We're going to provide instruction in righteousness. We're going to provide that to everybody. That's what you're receiving now. All right, if you want us to go to the Lord and pray on your behalf, right, we got to know who you are. We gotta, we gotta, we, we gotta have, have, have known you. We gotta have dealt with you. We gotta know what to pray for, right? We gotta know all of these things, all right? But we can't do that if you don't come fellowship with us. We gotta enter into that place like the scriptures say, right? Read what you got. Read from top of you. Uh, just read the next verse. Yes, sir. Do well unto him that is lowly, but give not to the ungodly. That's clear instructions. You see that? You didn't know that was in the Bible. You ain't know that was in the Bible. But we see all of these people standing on the corners, and we think we're doing God's service when we give them two pennies out our ashtray. When we give them a dollar, it's the last dollar in our wallet. We take it out of our wallet, and we say, I'm going to give it to this good man that God bless America on his car cardboard. That's what we do. He said, I can't get a job. He said, please, bless the homeless. I'm a veteran. You understand? That's what he says on the corner. Am I right or am I wrong? You know what I'm talking about? Right, they be on the corners in the port. I know they be where I live. Do they be out here? Because they a group. They really not broke. I just put you on. They really not broke. It's a whole, it's an organized homeless shelter nation that they got running game on everybody out here. Not just here, but everywhere. All right? That's why God says no to who you doing good. You giving your last dollar to this man, but he got, he got a hundred dollars. He got a thousand dollars. They got ten thousand dollars collecting together at the end of the night. When they go count their money. You understand? Just like you take the trick on the corner. Is she trick? You know what I'm talking about? And who she bring the money back to? To daddy. That's what they doing. They bringing the money back to daddy and they distribute it to everybody. God says don't just hand your money out to everybody. Right. Same way you're not going to hand your money out to everybody. You're not going to go to the father, the creator of all things, and just pray for anybody. Right. Yeah. What is the nation? Nation is men leading by example. Nation is family. Nation is community.